The Dave Gettleman era is officially over. He is out as general manager of the Giants after four seasons. That's four seasons of double-digit losses and, of course, four seasons of not making the playoffs. He will go down as one of the least successful general managers in franchise history, given the way the fans and some of the media feel about him. Probably the least popular general manager in franchise history as well. Clearly, popularity is not the reason why he's out. It's about the results on the field, and by any measure, they have been terrible over the last four years, and particularly terrible this year, a year when, back in August, John Maris said he thought maybe the Giants had the makings of a playoff team here based on the optimism of a year ago when they went 5-3 and three down the stretch, the fact that they added some high draft picks, obviously spent in free agency on players like Kenny Galladay, the number one receiver that they had been missing. They were even getting Saquon Barkley back, presumably healthy, and yet it all fell apart anyway. Injuries were a big reason, but that just exposed how thin this roster was, how poorly constructed it was, and the Giants were left with no choice. They made this decision weeks ago. It was not spur of the moment. Dave Gettleman, they knew, had to go. He left behind a team that is just not good, not a lot of talent, and worse, is in a bad, bad salary cap position heading into the offseason. It is a mess that the next general manager is going to have to clean up. As for who that next general manager is going to be, we'll learn more about that in the coming days, but it is expected to be a wide search, and there is a good chance that the Giants will end up hiring someone from outside of the Giants family for the first time since they brought in George Young back in 1979. And that's obviously something that many fans and many outsiders want them to do and believe that they should do. They could land on former general managers like John Dorsey, maybe, you know, up and comers like assistant Bills general manager Joe Shane. And yes, they will look at guys who have ties to head coach Joe Judge, Monty Asenfort with the Titans, Dave Ziegler with the Patriots could be candidates. And don't rule out Giants assistant general manager Kevin Abrams. Four years ago when they hired Gettleman, the Giants' hope was that eventually Gettleman would retire and just hand the reins to Abrams, who they believe is qualified to be the next general manager. At the moment, I think that John Mara probably realizes that hiring an internal candidate is not something he can sell to the fans or to anyone, so Abrams' candidacy could be hurt by that, but he still will be a strong consideration as the Giants look for Dave Gettleman's successor. All we know for sure at the moment, though, is Gettleman is out after four years of losing, and the Giants are hoping to turn the page towards a better future.